Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Stacy. Today is Thrift for Less Challenge Day. And in this video, I am going to give you some tips and tricks on how I find my outfits for much less. What this challenge is, is you find an inspiration piece and you go out thrifting to find something cheaper. And thrifting can be, you know, at the good local Goodwill, it can be online, at on Poshmark or that kind of website. But let's start with finding the inspiration piece. What I have found that really helps is if you have Pinterest, create a Pinterest board. Mine is called Thrift for Less Outfit Ideas. And in this board, I put anything that I come across online, I pin it to that board and I think, okay, that is something I want either that piece or that look or something like that. I feel like it has just helped me find more things of that I want. And that way you just have it at your fingertip when you're in the store. For me, it's made a world of difference. And there's many places that you can find some outfit inspirations. You Pinterest itself, there's a website Farfetch. I'll put up on the screen here some screenshots of some other websites that I like to periodically check and just to kind of see what's new. You can go to Vogue Runways and see what was on the runway shows. So multiple places on the internet. And then another kind of trick is to take photos of your own clothes. So if you have an outfit and you're like, oh, I love this outfit, I wanna recreate it, but you only need the pants to it, let's say. So take a picture of what you currently have in your closet and add it to that board as well. And then that way when you're out, it just is a refresher of like, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Before we get into some tricks on finding your thrifted outfit, let me just tell you a little bit more about this particular challenge. And this is a monthly challenge that I do with some other ladies here on YouTube. Each month we have a host and a co-host. Our host is always Ages Just a Number with Barbara Jean. She does a lot of great videos. She is a stylist. She also does beauty and makeup related. And on every Friday, she gives some tidbits on how to style one particular piece, like either white jeans or faux leather pants or tall boots, like something like that. So make sure you go check out her channel. And I would highly recommend every Friday for sure tuning in. But she does put out other videos throughout the week. And then each month we have a different co-host. This month the co-host is Debutan, and both of their channels will be linked down below as well as the playlist to all the other ladies that are participating. But Debutan, if you are interested in getting some inspiration for some colored makeup looks, if you wanna know what indie brands are good, she is definitely your girl to go to and usually every Monday she does a live chat, so it's really nice to be able to connect with her and other like-minded beauty lovers. And also, if you are coming from one of their channels, hello, welcome, my name is Stacy. and if you're just stumbling upon my channel, I love all things beauty, from skincare to fashion. Now I'm trying to start to incorporate more fashion into this channel. So if you would like me to do more fashion content, then give me a thumbs up and put in the comments more fashion and that will let me know. Okay, so you've got your inspiration looks and I recommend having more than one, you know, just have quite a few things that is in your board and then you're gonna go either online or to your local thrift shop and one thing that you want to do is make sure you look at every section. So the outfit that I have today, let's go through that. So this is the outfit that I wanted to find. So we'll go through the pricing and then I'll show you my look and we'll recap on the price difference. This cardigan retails for $1,160. Yes not gonna pay that. But a tip to how I found something similar is first I went through the women's sweaters and the women's coats, but I wasn't finding anything. So then I went over to the men's and in the men's section is actually where I found my piece that I think is similar to this. 
the jeans, those are $460. So my tip for when you're finding pants or jeans at a thrift shop is don't just look at what your normal size is. I mean, I feel like usually women were pretty, you know, we already know that sizes run different, but particularly in used clothing because the items can either be stretched out, they can be, they have my F shrunk. So really just, I look at a few sizes bigger than I normally am. And I look at like one or two sizes smaller than I normally am and just take a bunch into the fitting room and try them on because you never know how they've been washed. And you just wanna make sure that, you know, you're really looking over the inside of all the pants to make sure there's no staining, just, you know, as an FYI. The shoes she's wearing, $1,175. And I have a hard time finding shoes at my local thrift shops. A lot of times they are just trashed. And if they're not, they are priced pretty high, I feel like, for a thrift shop. So another tidbit is to check out if it's like Goodwill or a locally owned, check out if they have any loyalty programs or any special days. Like the Goodwill by me, every week they have a different color that is half off. And then on the 15th of every month, they have customer appreciation day where you can go and if you spend over, I think it's 20 or $25, because I never have trouble <laughs> spending over that, then you get 25% off your purchase that day. And then they print out a coupon for two days later to get 20% off that day. So just make sure you're looking into them because that is another way to get your deals. Like if your local store is like mine, where the shoes, if they're nice, they're marked up, that's a way to still kind of save some money. The purse. $950. The necklace, I could not find what she is wearing, that exact necklace. So I'm just saying I'm not counting that as a factor into the price because I have no idea. Okay, so that outfit, the total of it is, are you ready? 374, 300, <laughs> that would still be too expensive. 3000 $3,745. Now, does that look like an almost $4,000 outfit to you? It doesn't to me. So let's go over what I found. I'm gonna go over the pieces that I found. I'll insert some pictures of me wearing this, but don't go away after that. Make sure you stay because I need your help at the end of this. I need, I want to ask you a question. All right, so the cardigan. So, you know, the buttons are a little different, but I thought that this was a really good dupe, similar, and this was in the men's section. So this is actually a vintage King's Road, the men's shop, Sears. It's 100% acrylic, and yeah, so I found that in the men's. So don't, you know, don't forget to look there. Then, I found these jeans. Oops, I didn't cut off the price yet. Um, I'm not gonna show you that yet, but I found these jeans and you know, they they have like, they're not as light, of course, but I felt like they give the same vibe. They're lighter than a lot of the jeans that I currently have in my collection. And these, talking about sizes, this is one size up from what I normally wear in pants. Now for the shoes, like I said, my thrift shop, you know, that's near me, they usually price higher on shoes if they're good. And, you know, I'm mostly wearing sneakers and flip-flops nowadays. So I didn't really want to spend money if I didn't have to on some heels. Plus I already have tons of shoes I don't wear. And I have these that I already had in my collection. And I got these years ago for I don't remember whose wedding, but I was standing up in somebody's wedding. Then this purse, it's not pink. Surprisingly, I did not have a small pink purse. And this one's bigger than what she has, but it kind of, it just reminded me when I saw this in my purse collection. This is actually an authentic vintage. I think this might've been my grandma's. Um, there's no label or anything. 
but I thought, okay, that will work. So those I'm saying is zero dollars because I've had them for years. And this is actually a belt. So another example of how to look at every section. So this I just was wrapping around to make a choker. Now, I'm going to show you what this looks like together. We'll come back and I'll put up my picture and the inspiration pictures so you can see the difference and I'll ask you my question. What did you think? Now I know that my choker isn't, like I could make this tighter but I have to be honest, I really don't like <laughs> chokers or things really around my neck. So that's why it's not quite as like high and close as hers. But what did you think? So this again is the Inspiration Outfit. The retail of this one is $3,745. And here is my outfit. So the cardigan, $8. The jeans, seven dollars the shoes purse and necklace i'm putting a zero because i've had these and this actually was a friend that was getting rid of some stuff that was hers so i didn't have to pay for that so my outfit again three thousand seven hundred and forty five versus fifteen dollars so here's my question how do you think i did I would love if you would rate me from one to 10 on how well you think I did for the inspiration and capturing the vibe of it. I was really, really happy with how this turned out. And yeah, let me know what you think. And if you would, uh, and let's go through the pricing and then we'll go out. I hope that you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever and wherever you are that you are watching this. If you wanna see last month's Thrift for Less challenge, you can click on this video here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on my face right here. And again, I hope that you will also go down in the description box and click on the playlist and watch all the other ladies. Thank you so much, bye.